Harding, welcome to my blog .com. I am just in love with these curvy boxes. Um, a long time ago I've been hankering after one of these dies um, and they were very very expensive um, and so I'm delighted that Stamping Up have come out with um, the curvy keepsake uh, thin lips box die. It's a bit of a mouthful, isn't it? So first you need the die. <coughs> um, and also in the set there are three little label dies. And to make the box you also need your big shot and a magnetic platform and your cutting plates. First you <coughs> need your multi magnetic platform, the base cutting sheet, your cardstock, the die face down and this is um, the most economical way of um, cutting your cardstock is to place your die this way and the other cutting plate on top and I'll show you why then you can let's put this paper on top um, <clears throat> if you do it this way then you don't have any wastage of paper so that's a little tip <clears throat> once you've run it through the big shot you find that um, you probably have paper trapped in this narrow section here where the slot is. So just use a pokey tool and that will poke it out. Ready for your next cut. If you want to make the uh, box with the sides all the same as in this box here, then you just overlap the two so that the slots are at opposite corners, um, opposite sides, and the handles are um, opposite each other as well. So just a bit of Tombow glue on those two sides and you get this sort of box. If you want a different effect, <clears throat> like this one where two sides um, are different then all you have to do is just um, glue them with one pattern this way and the other pattern that way and then you get this effect Now, if you want this sort of effect, this is how I made this box. I cut them all as single panels. I cut two Whisper White, and then if I can find it, um, and two in Lost Lagoon. Um, so these essentially are these two panels where the slots are and this goes on the ends here. Um, this surplus bit off, so let's cut that off. And this one as well. I'm not going to stamp on these, uh, I'm going to use washi tape to decorate it instead. These are the All Is Calm and they uh, coordinate with the All Is Calm DSP. So I'm going to use these four to decorate the panels with. So that's the front and can you see here, you can see a little score line, well that's to pop up the handles so we need to pop those up first and I'll reinforce the score line so I know 
where to start my washi tape and basically I'm going to decorate it like this so um, I'll go off and do that it might take some time And that's the last one done, so all we have to do is just trim the surplus off. Next, we take our bone folder and we just need to curl this. It is called a curvy keepsake box, so <clears throat> we need to curl the sides. And do the same for this. And this is Lost Lagoon cardstock. This is one of our new in colours. So for the just for speed, normally I put sticky strip and um, just a tip that, oh, um, you don't want to put glue right up to the edge because um, It will show and I've got glue dots stuck where I didn't want it to and you do the same for this so follow the score lines and can't see where the glue dot's gone. Oops. Let's put that there then. And we want some glue dots on the bottom. And there you have it. So pop those together, slot it through the long thin slots here. Isn't that pretty? So there are some fun ways to do it. So you can stamp on it as well or make it as per original without tweaking or altering it. You can even stamp and emboss as I've done here. Um, so if you invest in this you know you can let your imagination run wild. Anyway, thanks for watching and I hope you've enjoyed today's tips and tricks and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.